Hello beautiful people, my name is Naila, your host for the Art of Living show. Stunning views, beautiful loans that want me to linger here for days. This place is a place of enchantment, magic and a home to legends and champions. Our guest today is a founding board member of Medihill Group of Hospitals, an MBBS and MS in obstetrics and gynecology. She has specialized in vital fertilization. She's married to Honorable Mishra, better known as Kiprop, and they're blessed with two beautiful children. She is down to earth, tenacious, hardworking, a scholar, and soft spoken, beautiful, and very stylish. Can't wait for you and I to meet her and to know more about her. Welcome to the Art of Living show. Let's discover, explore, and engage. Hello. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Nice Pleasure. to see you. Pleasure having you. You look beautiful. Pleasure. Same as you. <laughs> yeah. So this is a little plant for wow. you. Thank I you. I see you have lots of plants out there, but we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> I think it's very really good. It's, it's a very really good idea. Thank you. How big is this beautiful palatial home? <laughs> it's big in the sense we have about five rooms. Mm -hmm. I think sufficient for our family. For and my this kids is and your... This is like a formal sitting area okay. where we can uh, we can sit and talk to friends <laughs> all right it's just that in case you want to have some like meeting when you're talking something serious and you don't want the family members to just come yeah so that's why this place um dr misha likes entertaining his guests sometimes here so you have group spaces different spaces to have yeah, different it, meetings um, yeah so a bit formal guests will probably sit here this is gorgeous is it a mural or is it an art it's basically an art which has been captured on the tiles. Where do you get that technique from, <laughs> by the way? Okay, well, um, we got this from China, okay. uh, the tile, mm -hmm. the uh, wall art. Um, okay. That's where we picked up the piece from. And okay. basically you can actually suggest whichever art you like, depending upon the uh, upon the house you, I mean what uh, type of ambience you want in the house, you can just select the a picture okay. and then they will have computer graphics working on it and then they will uh, put the same image and get it engraved in the tiles. Mm -hmm. yes. So did this come like this from India as is? Yeah, this part yes. we got it from China. I also love this gypsum ceiling up here. Yeah. The wooden feel, you know, it contrasts very well with the yeah. white marble floor. The architect who made this house mm -hmm. He is also an interior decorator. He has this, um, he gave us the ideas about how we can go about make, uh, designing the ceiling. And from there we selected, we discussed with them and then we selected, I think this wooden finish will look good. So, Are you artistic at all? Would you I'm say not you, very sure. You're not very sure. <laughs> I've never explored that field. I love, Welcome. love, love the high ceiling. My goodness. Yeah, I think it gives a it a, gives a sense of openness. Yes, and uh, actually the room looks big. Yes, and it looks I I always like high ceiling. I yes, don't, I don't like the houses which are built with a very low ceiling. Yeah, and uh, so I think it, it actually it makes the place look grand. I I think it I, 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 yes, the and grandeur. Just the minute you look up, you know you. <laughs> These crystal chandeliers are yeah. just magnificent. Yeah, I think small lights will not fit into, like to light the whole big place, you require something which is big. So I thought, um, we thought like the chandeliers which are big in size mm -hmm. will really help in lighting up the whole area and it will increase the beauty as well. Did you come up with this design with the architect or um, is this something that you had in mind? Okay, This is what you wanted. I think when you're making a house, you already have something in your mind. So both me and Dr. Mishra wanted um, a bit like big kind of uh, room where you can actually sit, all the family members can sit, gather. So you can see when a room is big, when you expect about 10, 15 members from the family sitting and talking, you require a bit of big space, open space. And uh, I always like this idea of not making too many walls and closing spaces. Yes. It's open space where each one is watching each other, they are talking to each other and you are just seeing what is happening around. So it just gives you like a included in the family, like 
for example, we had the inauguration function of this house. We yes. had all our relatives around. So, you know, it was very good to have everyone sitting in this place and yeah. it's open place so that everyone has enough space to hang around. Yes. And we are still talking and conversing and it was like a big family. It, it feels good. I'm looking at these walls and they are incredible. I love the fact that your home is modern, uh, minimalistic and contemporary mix. Yes, basically contemporary. Uh, we went with contemporary idea. Yeah. We were making the house. We didn't want a classical look. Yes. Make and is that uh, paint or that is wallpaper on no, the walls? No, we have put wallpaper on the walls. Okay. So it's easy to maintain. Yeah. Yeah. I love and then you can al always change it. You know what I also love about this way? It makes it airy, spacious. Yeah. Actually, we all we selected pastel shades everywhere. You see, there are no dark shades in the house. There are yes. no bright shades. Yes. I thought uh, the brightness can be created either by the furnishing or by the curtains and all they can give a bright um, a bright color to the room but otherwise all other things are like on a pastel note pastel a pastel yeah you know your sheer curtains are, they flow beautifully out from yeah so I wanted there. it long like that yeah uh, I can show you how we it's, it's very long okay <laughs> so we normally use this um remote to handle it oh, oh, lovely oh let me see Yeah, this shows top up eclectic <laughs> art here yeah so it's quite Giant. similar to that uh, i explained that yes. we got a picture yes. and then we got it uh, engraved on the tiles so all this is tiles people can do this at home right yeah they can i think oh, they should be able this to. is a beautiful idea I and it's it. very interesting i mean it's very uh, this is a big picture so it can you know the whole wall is very big yes. so we wanted something very big and filling uh, the wall so yeah. that's why i thought a very big painting will be good uh, it complements your space because your true. walls are white. Yeah, they are, uh, they are light colored and so this is, like I said, we wanted other things to add color, not the walls. Not the walls. Not Anything the walls. else but yeah. not the walls. Because light walls also helps in creating like um, space. You feel it's more wider yes. than what it should be. So if you make dark spaces, uh, dark walls, so the place looks a bit narrow. Narrow and, and smaller. smaller. Yeah, small. And what about the floor, by the way? Um, this is Italian marble. Okay. And then it is... Um, uh, what you call they process it in India uh -huh. so we got it from India but okay. it, it was imported from Italy the beauty f the beauty of it is you have to really match it yeah. you can see the veins are getting matched yeah and I it forms a design on the floor I love it yeah so it it requires a special technique to um, to match to match these veins. they call veins okay. you see these lines going they in the marble yes they are called veins oh. <laughs> and they have to be matched so you can see all the places your veins are matched so that it forms a design when you put the tiles together. Interesting. So, so you, you can choose not to have a carpet, no, but no, have because this of beautiful yeah. marble. It's, that's Which true. Is nice. It's so it cleaner. gives a design on its own. Yes. And then you don't really have to clean it. The yes. only problem is it keeps the place cool. <laughs> so okay. what they do, do is they first uh, arrange it outside and then they match the veins and then they put them back. Okay. Here they use special cements to seal it so that you don't see the joint spaces and then it is polished for it to look good it has polished almost three or four times this is an art in itself yeah you can you see know? that's how we have made this so yeah. all these are marble even been this brown cut. yeah even this brown brown one okay they are also marble so they have been cut in that place and then created a kind of design you can have many type of designs of course they have to be they have to be cut by a machine and then you have to put them in place. We sat and we talked with the architect how it wa we want, like even for this, making these stairs, yes. it was the same like... I how see to the symmetry there. Yeah, so we came up with this idea that this one looks good. <laughs> yeah, so it requires, you, you have to spend time. So did you do it uh, by yourself or you did this with your husband? Um, did he have an us, input? Yeah, yeah, he also had. Yeah. Okay, some smaller details, maybe not, but yes. otherwise I, uh, we were all tech talking with myself, Dr. Mishra and the architect, we were always talking with each other. Okay. Um, your furniture as well is very classy. Mm -hmm. So where did you guys... So it's so very so comfortable, something which is uh, comfortable. So this yeah. is from India. Because I said this is uh, leather. 
Yeah, it is. Oh. It's leather. It's pure leather, and okay. then you have cloth. Uh -huh. You know, normally when you have full leather. It becomes cold, especially yes. in Eldoret. Eldoret is a cool place, so when you sit, you don't feel comfortable. So yeah. we wanted something which is of cloth. Yeah. So it becomes a bit dirty over a period of time, but I think you can wash it. And yeah, that as means... I said, we wanted light shades, so yes. it, and then some bright cushions, so okay. it gives a color to yes. the whole area. And and I can see you guys, you have uh, you're passionate about <laughs> the wild animals as well. Yeah, yeah, yes. a I, bit of animal marines, not Mara too much all the time. Cheers. Thank you very Thank much you. for inviting me well to your being. home. Mm. <laughs> and that area has just caught my attention, you know. <laughs> it's functional. Yeah, yeah. And it is also beautiful to have. Yes. You know, you don't have to have your guests going to the kitchen to wash their hands. So basically, we needed a wash, uh, something like a wash basin where you can finish your meal and have, wash your hands. Because the whole place is like an open place, so we wanted it to be a bit decorative. Yes. So that's how we, we got the idea of putting this Basin. Basin, which is on the top of the uh, platform. Marble. This is marble. Yeah, this is marble. So we wanted yeah. something on top of the marble. Yeah. Very so functional. You can see this one. Oh, super cool. <laughs> so most of your stuff here is automated. Yeah. Is that the, That's true. Very functional. <laughs> yeah. This looks like Italian. Um, kitchen because all the cabinets are tucked away. Yeah, so basically it's a modular kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Got it from all the modular kitchen we ordered and then we got the whole, we gave them the dimensions of the house mm -hmm. and I mean for the room and yes. then they we got it made on order. We all wanted a modular kitchen so it looks neat, it gives neatness to the whole place. Yes. Yeah, and everything is covered, you can have as many cabinets as you want. Yes. And then we wanted an open uh, area where you can actually sit and chat while having tea or snack or whatever, evening, morning, yeah. good family time. As a lady in the house, yes. you like uh, doing work in the kitchen, like you're making sometimes tea and guests are around. So you want to be part of the guests also, and then you want to be doing your work. So this uh, concept gives you idea that you can actually, uh, as you're doing the work in the kitchen, yes. you can enter, you can also talk to the guests and you're, you're like together. What has caught my attention is the fact that these plants are growing. How do you do that? <laughs> yeah, so basically these are um, uh, pothos, I think you know, these are commonly called as money plants. So you just put cutting of it and then they will f sh start shooting roots. So when I saw these lights in the showroom, I, I said this I need and I will put it where I sit for my breakfast because it really enhances the beauty. And the whole like idea of it yeah. being rectangular, it fitted very well with the concept of this yes. uh, sitting area. So. Yeah, so basically this is a sitting room for informal ones for kids and family again. Okay. So if you don't want to sit down or like when you have too many kids around, they want to sit here together, yeah. watch and chat. Yeah. So that's why we created this space where you can actually sit and yes. have a family time. Um, the view from here, I had seen in some magazines, yes. this type of house where you have an open veranda, uh, veranda kind of thing and you can watch what's happening down. Yes. So when we were making this house, I told my architect that this is what I want. <laughs> you know, the other thing that caught my attention is that wall unit right there. I, I like the design, so we made to order this one. Yeah. Those mementos from places that you've traveled to? Yeah, well? actually, both of us like collecting things whenever we travel uh, uh, out to any country. This is my daughter's room and she is here. What was the inspiration behind this space? When you... I wanted something which they are comfortable with. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically that's what I asked her, what would she like to have in the room? Yes. Because after all, she's going to stay here. Yes. So she told me that she doesn't want a television and she wants a bookshelf where she can keep the books and she wants something like a place where she can relax apart from her bed. Okay. So that's how we came up with this idea. Uh -huh. So, yeah. You have good taste. <laughs> Yeah. 
What I've noticed about your space is there are lots of plants everywhere I look. You know, when I look behind me, there's a plants in front of me. You know, this walkway has beautiful laid out plants. Yeah, I, okay, I like collecting plants and I like them everywhere. If given an opportunity, they will be more than what they are right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they, they make you feel good. Yes. I feel very positive. Uh, when plants are around me. This is our room. Oh, yeah. this is stunning. We have a place to relax. Okay. I have my study table there. Yes. Uh, uh, television information is always there. Yes. And then we have a small area to sit there and okay. a balcony outside. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And plus your plants and the pots are so cute. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Um, so, this is our walk-in closet. Closets as well as the uh, toilets. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is so gorgeous, my goodness. And I see marble as well. Yeah, every, this is all marble. So we have these lights even here for the plants. We still have <laughs> plants in the toilets. Plants my in the goodness. Toilet. And then we have this walk-in closet. You seem to be equally stylish <laughs> with that collection of clothes in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and collection of your perfumes as well. Yeah. Your lawn is exceptionally beautiful. Talk to me about, um, you seem very passionate about plants and I've never seen so many flowers. It just brought out, you know, the inspiration behind Spring, you know, because they're all blooming and they look so gorgeous. All the colors anyone can think about. From childhood, I used to like plants. I mean, uh, even back in my childhood days, I always remember I had a lot of plants around in my house. I was fortunate that we had garden even there. Okay. So when I came, when we had planned to make this house, uh, when Dr. Mishra bought the area, I told him, whatever you want, I want a big place for me to make a garden because I feel it's so relaxing and I feel it's um, like, okay, this is kind of my hobby to select plants and to collect it over a period of time. So uh, I, when I came to this country, I realized that here there are so many nice, beautiful plants and they grow so well. So that was one thing which made me to fall in love with Kenya, actually. <laughs> and from that time, I have been collecting flowers anywhere I go and I find a plant which is unusual. I used to collect it and keep it um, somehow growing. Talk to me about uh, your passion um, where it comes to fertility issues. I know you, you're a gynecologist and an obstetrician as well. From the very beginning, uh, I, want, I like this field of fertility and also high-risk obstetrics. So those are the two areas I feel uh, there's a lot to do and a uh, lot to explore and, you know, to help. Yes. Because um, fertility is a kind of silent disease. Mm -hmm. um, and you, women who have problems in getting pregnant, they suffer silently. Mm -hmm. They do have mental health issues also, just over a period of time when the subfertility continues, mm -hmm. it comes with um, challenges with mental health, challenges with adjustment in the society, in the family. Mm -hmm. Please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so celebrating life. True. And to the doctor. <laughs> and womanhood the also. And womanhood, exactly. <laughs> <Right. laughs> women have a solution finally. Let's they just have. do that. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. For the woman. Yes, for the women. <laughs> women in the world. <laughs> women in the world, exactly. Yeah. So you were passionate about women? About who, women uh, yes. who were having problems of fertility. So when, we, um, when I, we came and I started practicing, I saw that area is really not taken care of and um, there were not much things to be done in that field. So yes. I think that's how I liked that field and I started growing in it. And as you, I saw that women who have, um, also I came, to, uh, came across like difficult fertility and high risk pregnancy, they go along with each other. Okay. So that's how I started getting into high risk pregnancy because at some point they cross their paths. Path. What do you mean by high risk pregnancy? High risk pregnancy means pregnant women who are at higher risk of developing complications in pregnancy. Okay. Like it, it can be in terms of their sickness yes. or the sickness of the baby. Okay. So you have subfertility and those women who are 
having challenges in getting pregnant, when they do get pregnant also, their risk of complications in pregnancy is much higher as compared to women who get pregnant naturally. Many of them, because as they take time to get pregnant, they tend to get other medical conditions which come up like blood pressure, diabetes, and so on and so forth. And their pregnancy becomes much more complicated than pregnancy which occurs spontaneously. Yeah. So I think they yeah. all go hand, hand in hand. hand. That's amazing. And all those services, you have them at MediHealth? Yeah, we have them at MediHealth. Fantastic. And you only uh, practice here in Eldoret? Yeah, I practice in Eldoret uh -huh. um, because um, I work here, I, I teach in Moy University, and okay. then I practice at MediHealth as a part-time uh, consultant. Yeah. So people can actually reach out to you on yeah. the website? The, yeah, it's in the website. All yes. right. So I'm available there every day. Yes. Uh, we are a group of uh, uh, gynecologists over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we all practice the same uh, specialty. That just goes to show how incredible of a woman that you are to Thank just you. give people another chance, you know, to procreate and to have children and they can go to your website and you guys can reach out and see they not only have Medi Health here in Kenya but also in Addis Ababa where else which other country uh, Kigali and Thanks thank you for having us I'm sure our viewers who are very passionate about atom living now you've learned something new about plants you've learned something about art which I am so excited about and make sure you tune in for yet another amazing episode next Sunday at 6 o'clock. Thank you for watching and we love you.